With me now in the studio, Aliu Tanko of the BBC's Houser Service. Good to have you with us. Um, why has there been so little success in tracking these girls down? Why has it proved so difficult? Well, um, two things. Number one, the Nigerian government has been claiming that um, at a point their uh, security or intelligence report that uh, have um, tracked where these girls are, but they are trying to like safeguard the girls to avoid casualties on the side of the girls. And of course, um, information over the years, over the last 18 months have been that um, the, the, the Boko Haram fighters have been guarding these girls jealously so that they would continue to, to you know, to, to be relevant in everything they do and um, possibly continue to do whatever they have been doing in the last uh, six years in Nigeria. Has there been any change? We've had a new government uh, fairly recently in Nigeria. I mean, has there been a change uh, in the way that the Nigerian authorities and the army have approached Boko Haram? I mean, have we seen a more concerted effort now? Well, um, there has not been any change per se, but the Nigerian army now is aggressive. They have been attacking Boko Haram. They, have, they claim to be clearing Boko Haram camps, and um, we have seen pictures and videos of the Nigerian army clearing camps and rescuing more hostages that have been under Boko Haram control. However, in the, uh, the other side of the story is that there has not been any change in terms of, you know, approaching this group you know, trying to negotiate, even though President Muhammad Buhari has been saying that he's ready to negotiate with this group if they would release the board, the Chibok girls. How big does this story play in Nigeria itself? I mean, obviously, the, the, the Chibok girls and their fate has been a big international story. Uh, is it a big international story in, in Lagos, for example? Yeah, it's 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 a global story, and it 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 has been a story that all Nigerian newspapers have been, you know, promoting uh, you know, on on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers. And of course, there is this group, the Bring Back Our Girls campaign, that have been sitting down, you know, campaigning for the release, safe release of these girls over the last two years. So this story is a very big story in Nigeria. And of course, the Nigerian authorities and the, and the people have been, you know, trying to, 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 to make things happen. But unfortunately, there has not been any good result. Indeed, Alio, thank you very much indeed. Alio Tanko of the BBC's Houser Service.